Now we set. Let's get it. All right. About to see exactly what's going to happen with this one this time. Today we are giving away this Lamborghini. The last person to take their hand off the car gets to keep it. Actually, no, they don't because we're filming a loyalty test. In the shape of a sure. Lamborghini giveaway challenge though. Is Ben's girlfriend loyal or not? Today our friend Dorian will be helping him find out by asking her on a date. It's a win-win if I win the car and you. We've been arguing a lot back and forth. It's trust issues, I would say. I don't want him to get deep into something, get hurt, and then it distracts and music and stuff like that, so. In the past, we've actually placed Joan and his girlfriend to the loyalty test, but this time, the roles were reversed. You don't have to have your hand on it just yet. Oh, we're practicing. <laughs> yes, we're practicing. Yep. What is there to practice? <laughs> the plan was for our friend Madeline to pretend to be the YouTuber that was giving away this gorgeous beast. <laughs> that is sick. Our friends were pretending to be competitors in the challenge alongside Ben and his girlfriend. Just okay. got a text message from Joan and guys. He say ETA 905. It was Ben's job to bring his girlfriend to the challenge. And when the time was right, Dorian would make his move and see if she would remain loyal. Exactly like he did in Jonan's test. All right, about to see what's going on. Today's video is brought to you by Ray Shadow Legends. If you're looking for an out of this world RPG game, then look no further because you can download and play Raid Shadow Legends on both your mobile device and PC computer for free. Now here are three reasons why I love playing Raid. Number one, there are over 650 epic champions that you can collect in this game. Number two, you can fight against real players in intense PvP battles. And number three, there are tons of ways to customize and build okay. up all your champions to make them even more powerful against the bosses. Now also, Raid just launched the first episode of Raid Call of the Arbiter, which is out now for you to watch. Because of this, Raid is going to be adding some cool new characters, including the mighty and fearless orc warlord, Artok. This new epic character can be yours by logging into Raid for seven days between now and July 24th. So go download this game and get started okay. on your RPG experience. New players can use my link in the description below or scan my QR code here on the screen to get a free starter pack with this cool in-game loot. Once you're ready to go, come find me in the game, join my clan, and together we can be unstoppable. Okay, guys, the All right. other contestants are here. Oh, they're here. Jonan and the rest of the gang are here. Ben had arrived with his girlfriend, Taya. In order to make things more realistic, okay, so they must be a girlfriend Jonan and another one of their friends to be a part of this quote unquote challenge. For those of you who do not know me, I'm Madeline. Nice to meet you all. And hello, Hi, Madeline. friends. Hi. And hello, friends. Okay, so I'm going to record the intro really quickly. Hey, so after she says Lamborghini, everyone be like, yeah. <laughs> just literally just scream. Alrighty, so on today's episode, we are going to be giving away this. Lamborghini, can you believe it? Yeah. I'm excited. Yeah. The person who keeps her hand on the Lamborghini the longest will walk away with it. Yeah. Yeah. And so with that, our fake Lamborghini challenge had officially begun. Dorian strategically set himself up next to Ben's girlfriend while Ben kept his distance. Now, if this challenge were real, I'm sure we'd be here for hours. But luckily, we had a strategic way to shorten this thing up. We are going to be eliminating someone in 20 minute segments. We've come up with an excuse for each of them to get out of there. My excuse for leaving is because I have a pizza. For now, everyone just had to play it cool and go along with okay. our big challenge. Ken, what are you going to do with the car? Uh, gotcha. I'm probably going to sell it. Honestly, for me, it's going to be a tax write-off. The reason I need this car is because I need a weekend car. You see my daily right over there? My daily, and I need a weekend car now. We should start moving. The challenge was in full swing and everything was going as planned. Ben's girlfriend was fully convinced that Madeline, a successful YouTuber, was giving away this Lambo thanks to her friends at Supercar Garage. But in reality, it was simply lent to us by its owner, Chris. This is a 2022 Lamborghini STL. This is one of approximately oh, okay. 2200 for the world. It's 640 horsepower, naturally aspirated V10. It's the star of my YouTube channel. If you subscribe, Every month, we're going to pick one subscriber and have a night out with the boys. Okay. We have cool. someone who has to leave. Fortunately, yes. Yeah. Where do you have to go? I have to go pick up my brother. I have to go pick up my brother. Yeah. 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 You have a Lamborghini on the line. I know, but... With this Lamborghini, you could buy yourself a brand new brother. You could buy yourself a brand new brother. <laughs> that is very true. No, yeah. I can't do that. I'm, I'm like so invested, even though I know what's gonna happen. Like, go get your brother, yeah. Go get your brother, go get your brother. Go get your brother. Yeah. Really? And just like that, our first contestant was eliminated. Bye! Bye. Thank you Bye. for coming. Everyone keep your hands on the prize. 
So now I will be ordering some pizza because that's going to be how we're going to get someone else out. Hi, thanks okay. for calling Domino's. In the world? I'm really stressing out because I got the really? conference call a little bit. <laughs> but is it worth more than a Lamborghini? I might take the conference call here. Well, I'm on. Well, I don't know. Can do that. Because it'll mess with our audio. Get fired or uh, get a Lambo. Muba may or may not have to leave. All right, Muba, make your decision. Are you going to take your conference call or are you going to stay in the challenge? Oh, oh okay. So the pizza's on his way. That's we're just part of the whole the whole thing anyway. How are we doing on storage? I'm running a little bit low, but we're good for right now. I want to offer you guys $1,000 to skedaddle. Ken? I think I need the Lamborghini. Okay. So I'm going to stick around. Oh, fuck. Imagine Tegas, the one who takes it. No? Compare the prices. Oh, so she said nay. What about you? Don't ask me. Oh, you guys can literally be here for like eight plus hours. I ain't even going to cap. I got to use the restroom, too. A thousand looking real nice. Ooh. I'm going to have to do it, bro. Yeah? Oh, oh, okay. That was nice. That's a nice cover. It's dumb. Anna O'Malley told me about uh Go ahead okay. and go inside. There's snacks. It's nice and warm. Damn, imagine this for real. The man traded a Lamborghini for a thousand dollars. Y'all wasting y'all time. The challenge continued, and 20 minutes later, Madeline tickled Ken out of the competition. Oh! Really? Getting tickled is your weakness. Not long after Ken's departure, the pizza had finally arrived. You smell that, y'all? Do we have a weak link? So hungry. Take the pizza. Okay. I'm oh no way. Hmm. Oh, they really got away. They really getting away with this. For a slice of pizza. Oh my God, this is like the shortest keep your hand on the Lamborghini challenge ever. A while later, yeah, Madeline is. ended up eliminating Loris by nut checking him. Hey, you're good. Hey, hey, no, no, no. And last but not least, all that was left to do was eliminate Ben based off a of technicality. But before that happened, this ended up playing out. Looking good, looking good. Oh, your girlfriend's right there. Oh, you know. But, oh, so I'm not cute? No, you are, but, you know, you can grab can't. Or can you? This was actually pretty crazy, and I had no idea that it happened. I guess Madeline picked up on Ben sounding a little sus here and decided to conduct a loyalty test of her own. Oh, you guys have, like, a little open thing going on? No, no, I can't. Is it cheating if verbal cheating? I'm getting that. I'm a low man. Oh? Yeah, I stay low. You stay low? So you wouldn't want to? No, definitely not. You asking me? I'm asking you out. What's up? Can't do that. No? Hell no. What'd you say? She's right what? here. So if she wasn't no, right there. I'm just saying, like, I mean, have some respect. Yeah, exactly. No, but for real, for real. For real? Yeah. Sorry. I've been here for a minute now. You can't do that. All right. I respect I don't that. Pull that easy. I like that. You better keep that up. Because I'm a player. Oh, you are? I'm a player. This was not a part of the plan, but Madeline just pulled a test within a test. Honestly, Ben did sound a little sus here. Oh, so I'm not cute? No, you are. But, you know, he's a bad one. Maybe we'll have to test him sometime in the future, though, because he obviously knew the cameras were there. Anyways, let's fast forward and get back to kicking him out based on that technicality. See you right there? Hot, red, hey. Ben was being kicked out because he supposedly lifted his hand off the car. Hell yeah. Where he got out? Woo! I'm not gonna lie, I, I'm kind of glad you got out because that just made it a lot easier for me. I thought he would be here longer than you would. Finally, two oh, and a half here we go. Later, our plan was complete and we had Dorian and Taya by themselves. You guys are hungry, huh? I know, I'm starving. I mean, you guys can eat with one hand, right? If I give you guys pizza? Of course. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna have the cameras. You guys come inside. You guys gotta keep each other accountable though. I'll bring you guys pizza. Cameras are gonna come inside with me. We're gonna change out the SD cards and the batteries. I'll be back right now with your guys' food. Dorian was about to make his move, but we first had to make okay, Ben's girlfriend believe that she wasn't being watched or recorded. So we killed all the cameras except for the hidden one upstairs and the hidden one in the car. All right, Ben. Oh, you okay. Think? You think she's gonna pass? How you feeling, man? I don't know. I'm a little nervous. We've been arguing the last couple of days, but I don't know. She seems kind of into him. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god. Okay, here we go. <laughs> you didn't know about this angle? No. <laughs> you slick with a little one finger. Okay, don't let that finger come up now. I'm quick to tell them. As a matter of fact, where they at with the cameras? Where they at? Hey! I can't tell if you don't vlog. Play with it. Play with it. Why would you want two Lambos when you already have one? Because. You waste, what, like three hours of your life now? I want a second one. Well, what if I want it? I'll let you drive it every now and then. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. That's a Scorpio on me, I guess. Ooh, I don't know what to say. I hate Scorpio. Scorpio gang. I hate Scorpio then. Scorpios are the best. I don't, no, I don't know. Where do, where do you? Where do you? Aries. I don't know when that is. When is it Aries? April. Oh. 
Did Dorian just blow it by saying he's a Scorpio? He hey, for some people, that's a deal breaker. I definitely need this car. This one has like 700 horsepower. Mine has like 500. There's no need for two. We can share. If you just lift your hand up just a little right now, we can make a little, what is that called? We can sign a little document, okay? I get the car in the weekdays. You get the car on the weekend. What is this? Uh, oh, oh, oh. You, can, you can show off on the weekends. Do what you need to do. Weekdays. I take the car to like work. Yeah. Come on now. What is this? What, what are we right? co parenting with the fucking car now? I mean, wouldn't it just be easier to mean you like both be in the same Lambo? You know, you could ride in here with me. Maybe. Maybe. Uh oh. I mean, like, like I said earlier, That's not even good. Even for a maybe. And you. I'm not trying to, you know sound like dickheadish or like you know mean or anything but you didn't notice how your boyfriend was out here openly flirting earlier you did because you did say something about yeah, that no, i did say something i wasn't flirting with nowhere was i wasn't flirting right was i flirting yeah i was joking bro she take two things she take things too literally oh lord here we go why why are you bringing that up? I, I, I just didn't know what the vibes really were because, you know, he was there flirting. You were kind of, not saying full on, but you were kind of flirting with me. What if I was just joking about that, though? And you were joking, but what if you weren't? What if I was? But that's the thing, you're saying what if, right? Just a little friendly fire. Oh, a little friendly fire? A little friendly fire. A little friendly fire. How friendly is that fire? Not that friendly. Not that friendly? That's how I like it, though. I don't like it too friendly. I'll tell you. I'm gonna oh, be realistic. I'm just be like up front. I really don't even know you like that, but I'm just saying like, I find you real pretty, mad attractive. And I just wanted to see if it was like any way that I mean you could just like, I'm not saying leave your man right now or anything like that, but I'm just, I just want to get to like know you a little better. So you want me to like sneak behind his back and like us talk? I don't know what y'all, like how y'all really do it or how, like, how you got it going on. Cause I already saw the like, you know, like I said, the open flirting. So I don't know if that's something that you guys like really do like that. But I'm open to it if you are. Oh shit. Yeah. No. I'm gonna pass on that. I can respect that. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Okay. Yep. I'm just saying that it, it's just it's just one of those things that I just have to really be upfront about, you know? Yeah. Just had to be upfront about it. But you know what? I really respect that though, like. Oh, oh, yeah. She passed. So she passed. It. Taya rejected Dorian with ease. I'm glad she did, but honestly, I kind of feel like this ended too quickly. I feel like Dorian could have applied more pressure. Like, I was expecting him to say something like, I'll take my hand off the Slambo if you go on a date with me. But he didn't even, like, ask for her number. Now, in his defense, maybe he felt like he didn't have much time, or maybe this whole scenario wasn't the best for him to apply that pressure. But if he would have at least gotten her number, we would have called off this Lambo challenge due to camera issues, and then we could have figured out a face too where he would have more time and more privacy to make his move it sounds awful i know and it's not like i wanted her to fail i'm very glad she passed i guess i just like to thoroughly and fairly conduct these tests that's it even though you were yeah i know she said, i wasn't afraid yeah! I wasn't even funny though. Yeah. Come on. At this point though, the test was over and Ben had decided to come clean to his girlfriend. So grab them talkies because you guys already know. This shit's gonna be good. Oh lord, here we go. It's either she gonna trip out or she's not. What's up? What's good, what's good? How y'all doing? Chilling, ready to win this. So what's this? A test? For what? Loyalty. And you passed it, so congrats. Passed what? A loyalty test. Loyalty test for what? I thought we were doing a challenge. Technically, yeah. It was on you. You passed. <laughs> hey. 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 So, Taylor, so this entire thing was basically all a test. Ben wanted to place you to a test to see if you would remain loyal to him. So we had Dorian right over here ask you on a date. And the way we set that up was by making you believe that you were competing for this Lamborghini right here. So I just stood out in the cold for no reason? <laughs> for a reason. Loyalty. Because, I mean, to be honest, I had some issues with trust lately, but, you know, I feel like this was needed to keep the relationship intact. Are you just doing this test because you're doing stuff behind my back? Definitely not. Mm -hmm. That's, that's, nah, you, what? No. Nah, and why are you guys in on this? No. <laughs> <laughs> it was them. 
<laughs> nah, nah. That what? Hey, hey, she, hey, she, she, she wants hey, to. Hey, I just want to, I just want to look out for my homie because he looked out for me. My girl, she ended up not passing. But <laughs> why would you even think I would do something like that? <sighs> you know, because what happened to me, I just don't want yeah, to. Happen. But we're not like your relationship. Well, well, now I see that. Now I see that. Oh, now I see really? That. It took I, you I a, have, a little I'm, fake I'm challenge to figure you that passed, out. You passed. You passed. Hey, congrats. You don't gotta get mad at me. You don't gotta get mad at me. I I'm will deal with him later. Ooh. That Ooh. doesn't need to be on camera. That's just ridiculous. So what if I did this to you? What if I tested I, you? I'd probably laugh, to be honest. You would I'd probably you would laugh, yeah. yeah. Oh, for sure I'd pass. Okay. Yeah. I just don't get why he would do a little trick like this, but why couldn't he even just I know she, get, she getting pissed. She getting pissed. That's a good point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next couple days might be a little rough, but we'll get over it for sure, right? Right? Sure. Sure? Maybe. You're still mad at me? I'll get out. <laughs> Hug it out. <laughs> really, no car though? <laughs> <laughs> Just did all that for no reason. Uh uh. Of course not. Of course they won't. Because it was the way she felt about it. She felt felt like, oh, why you need to test me and everything. And chances are she probably she probably was feeling some kind of way about it. You know? That's the only thing I can say. She she probably felt some type of way about it, and just didn't go through with the relationship or something. It it, it could be it could have went either way, but she felt some kind of way about that. I, that's the only thing I can say. That one was kind of, like I said, that one was kind of a little sloppy a little bit. Could have did a little bit more with that one. That that whole test and everything with the whole car and everything. That kind of like, uh threw some people over in a loop so yeah that wasn't like really a good gesture to do in my honest opinion so yeah but yeah i mean that's not even a good one to be you know to be rolling with they should have should just stuck with them being hands-on one-on-one -on -one with the person and everything like that because man oh man He would have had, I think he could have had pulled her, to be honest. 